Hey everybody, it's Andrea, welcome back to the channel. It's that time of the month when we do our completed pages. Uh, I didn't complete that many pages in January, but I did complete 13. Um, some of them were whips left over from Christmas, some of them weren't, so I'm gonna go through them now. So I did one in 100 Amazing Patterns for Gem Jade Summit. This was a whip that had been hanging around since November. So I really just wanted to finish it, so I did. It has just been done with various gel pens, as you can see. So I do like this book. And I'm slowly getting through it. Long way yet, but I'm getting there. I did a body colour with Chelsea Jade Murray in Whimsy Girls Around the World. It's the first one I've done from this book, so I'm really glad to get to it. And we did this one. And this was done using various markers, including... I think... I'm not sure... Pro Markers and Oh Hoo Hoo and Everblend. So it's a bit of a mix of whatever I had to hand, but I really like that. That's that one. I did one from Desert Muse from, by Carla Magana. I hadn't done one in this book, so uh, this was the first one I'd done. I didn't know that those were cactuses or cacti. I didn't realise, so I had no idea. So I was just colouring random colours, but again, this was done. This one was done using the bold mirror markers that I got from the works and the background was an Oh Hoo Hoo pastel. Um, there's some glitter gel pen on there. It's just, um, which ones did I use? I used the Link Shine this time. But yeah, I enjoyed that one. It's nice. I like that book. I did one in Hot Tropics because again, I love this book. And I did this one, and this one's done using the Windsor & Newton Pro Markers. Um, the background wasn't. I think that was just a blue... That was an Everblend. That was an Everblend. And then I've got some glitter glue on the back. I do like these books. They're so easy to colour in. So just sparkle a bit. There's also a bit of gel pen on various bits. And some makeup using the Polychromos. So you can just zoom in a little bit for you. You know I don't go overboard uh, telling you what I've used and showing you, so. There you go, but I like that one. There we go. I finally finished the Christmas special picture that I have been doing since November. Uh, it took me a while. I finally finished it in January. Let me just get to it. I love the kitten one, by the way. And I did this one, which is Snow Beauty. I just wanted to use light blues. So there's a lot that's not been really coloured in, like on the trees, because there's snow on it. I've put some grey on it. I've put a bit of green shade in where the, the leaves are showing through. But it took me a long time. But I really did enjoy doing it. And that was done with uh, the Prismacolor Premieres. Right, I'm just going to have a quick sip of Coke. Right, 50 Easy Mandalas by Jade Summer. Getting through this one. I do like this book, to be honest. Let me just get to the page. And I did this one. And again, this one was done with the... Which pens did I use on this one? This was done with the Bold Mirror. Yeah, I can tell that, because that, that's their um, peach. I thought it was a bit, bit pinky. Um, but yeah, that was done with the Bold Mirror, so I was just testing them out to see what they look like. And I, I like them, they're very bright. That's another one I like colouring in because it's easy. Rose Windows by Creative Haven. Again, I use the one I always use, which is the Crelando markers from Lidl's. I love this book. I really do. So I've done that one. Um, that's not this one I did. I did. I do apologise. I'm so far through it. I did this one, again, with the Crelando markers from Lidl's. So I literally got a gap there before there's another one I've done. I love it. I love this book. This is one I'm going to finish. I know that. Okay, so that's that one. Like I said, I'm very quick at doing this. Another one I had left over from Christmas is one from Escape from Christmas Past. This is one I hadn't coloured in and I've had it for a long time. So I'm really glad I finally got to colour a picture in here. I knew which one I wanted to do and I just did it. And it was this double page spread of the Christmas baubles and uh, hanging on the tree. So it was done with Prismacolors on the leaves and the background and the rest is done with just various gel pens, glitter gel pens. There's um, 
secure a jelly roll in there. We've got, what's the other one? What's it called? Link Shine in there. Um, all the others. I did miss a little bit there, but I quite like the way it looks. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. So I'm really happy to have done one in that. My go-to book, because I love anything to do with Egypt. This is another one I want to finish. I haven't done a book I want to finish in 2022, because I'd have to title it. Book, 10 books I want to finish in 2022, but probably won't, because I know me, I've got so many books, and I'm trying to work through them all. But this one is uh, a good chance that I could potentially, potentially finish this one, because I do love it. Oh, is that next? No. Oh, it's that one next, isn't it? And I, I did this one. And again, this is done using the Ohuhu water-based brush markers, which I absolutely love. I love them. And even when they run out, there's plenty of other decent colours that you can replace it with and they're not over expensive I would buy those again I'm also using them in my book journal another one left over from Christmas wonderful Christmas by Jade Summer again this is one I hadn't coloured in so it's another one off my uh, hoardy pile and it was this one again I think I started this in November with various markers literally various markers you've got Ohuhu on there you've got Everblends on there you've got the Amazon ones uh, but yeah, it's pretty much, and of course some gel pens, Arteza gel pens I think on those ones for the uh, thing, and a metallic, what was the metallic one from and? Dual, the Pentel Dual Hybrid, see I couldn't think then, uh, for the red thing, that's why it's sort of dark, very dark red, um, but yeah I really enjoyed that one. It took me a while to do it. I, I did most of it and then I sort of stopped. But yeah, I like it. And th there should be another book, I think. So I'll go and find it in a minute. It's because I'm still colouring in it. I've got, I'm doing, I've got another whip. Um, so then there's Christmas Patterns Colour by Number by Prachi Duan Sachdeva. I do like these. I do like doing these. Now this one has, as I said, right in, in between the pages, I think. So... Obviously, before I do the next one, I'll do the... Yeah, so you've got on that one there by Laura Ingalls Wilder. And then I did this one. Again, using the Ohoho water-based brush markers. The next quote I haven't done yet. Christmas is most truly Christmas when we celebrate it by giving the light of love to those who need it most. So I might colour in this again before July. When we do Christmas in July, I might not because I've still got a load of Christmas whips to go. Um, I've got another book. I'm just going to go and find that other book. I won't be a sec. Sorry about that. I really don't know why that wasn't on the part. Well, I do because I was colouring another page in it and I haven't finished it. So the next one was in 50 Easy Patterns. Uh, again, this is one that will be quite easy for me to complete. Again, this was done using the Crelando ones because I wanted to use them to do something a bit different. As you can see, I've started one on the next page using those really nice glitter markers that I got from... Amazon. So those are all the pages that I coloured in January. So it wasn't a huge amount, but I'm really, really pleased. I do put them in, something just fell off at a certain order when I stack them because they're going to go somewhere, yeah. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I'm really pleased with that. And uh, yeah. So it's all done. Uh, I'm hoping to colour more in February. I'm not going to guarantee it because like I said I'm reading a lot and I'm reading a very big book at the moment which is The Stand by Stephen King. I hope you've enjoyed this video. My favourite picture of the month is the one from here from the Christmas special. I do like this book. I wish I could have coloured more in it but this is definitely my favourite picture of the month that I finally finished. Um, leave me a comment down below which one did you like and I will see you in my next colouring video we'll be doing a colouring chat really really soon alright bye guys